Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video tutorial, we will learn how to create and send PayPal invoices to your client or a company. Sometimes they ask for an invoice and we send them a static PDF document which they don't need. They actually need an online solution where they can pay online. And in the previous video, I showed you that how you can send payment requests through Finear. So if you are using Finear, you can watch my previous video about that. And this video will be particularly for PayPal invoices. So let's get started. First thing is just log into your PayPal account and then you will see create an invoice here on the right side. Just click on it. And it will open up invoice page where you can see the invoice number. You can change the invoice number here, okay? And just write any number here. And then you can choose a template. So here we have quantity, hours and amounts only. If you are sending something or you are creating an invoice for a product which has some sort of quantities, you can just select quantity. And if you are working on hourly basis, you can choose hours. And if you are creating an invoice only for an amount, you can choose this one. If I check this one, this will change the invoice a little bit, okay? So here you can pick the option that you need. And then you can switch currency from USD to any of these. For example, I want to use Euro, so I'll check this one. And now here on the right side, you can add your logo. I'll click here. And then I'll choose my logo. And this is how you can add your logo to the invoice. And then here you can build to a single customer or multiple customers. If you have multiple customers, you can switch to this option. And then you can write the email addresses or the names. And if you have a single customer, you can write his name or email. For example, I'll write my email here. And then you can write the customer information like first name, last name, business name, email, and then code, phone number, and so on. And again, if you have shipping included, you can write the shipping address or you can use the same address and so on. And for now, let's close this. And you can see you can add address and additional information later on. And then you can write the item name and also the amount. So for the item name, I'll write something like, for example, this is for web design, okay? And then I'll write the amount here, for example, 500. And then if you want, you can add additional rows, like additional items, okay? Just click here. And now you can add a new item. For example, second item, you can write the amount again. If you don't need this additional row, you can just remove it. And now you can write a message for the customer, okay? So I just wrote this, okay? You can write your own details here just to message the customer. Then you can add terms and condition if you want to. If you click here, you can write terms and condition like, please pay this invoice within the next or within the next seven days and then you can add a reference number and so on but these are optional okay let's scroll up and as i said you can change the invoice number here and this is the invoice date which will be the current date and then due date so we can choose on receipt once the client receive this no due date on specific date or we can choose from within 10 days 15 and so on so you can pick any of these options. I'll choose a specific date, which will be within the next seven days, okay? And then this is a subtotal. And if you want to add another discount, you can just add discounts. You can add shipping here. You can add other amounts and so on. Then the subtotal will be here. And then if you want to allow partial payments to the client, you can select this box. Now the client can pay partial payments, any amount less than 500, okay? And if you want to set a minimum amount for it, like 250, and then the client will must have to pay this amount and then they can pay the rest later on. And you can also allow tip for this invoice. And that's it. If you want to view this invoice that how the client will see it, you can just click on it. And you can see here is what customer will see. And the available payment options can vary depending on your customer location, okay? Now these are our details, our logo, name and our address, the invoice number, the issue date and the due date, and the amount and amount due and then pay full payment. Uh, he can choose to pay this partial payment okay and then scroll down here you can see this is the client email this is the item that we added and this is the seller note and these are our terms and condition and the customer or the client can also add a tip in percent or amount this will be the total these are the payment method available to that client and again if there are some mistakes you can just edit it again and you can correct those mistakes and that's it now we can just send it you can see your invoice to this person has been sent and you will also see all your invoices here on this page okay so you can see these amounts are paid and this is the one that we just sent now paypal will also track this invoice for you let me show you the emails that you will get after sending an invoice so this is the first email that you will get invoice sent we sent your invoice to this person for this amount okay and this is the one that we just sent and then after a few days if the customer hasn't seen your invoice you will get an email like this customer hasn't seen your invoice okay 
He will also get the invoice ID, the invoice send date and the amount. And once the customer pay the invoice, you will get another email. You received this amount payment or your invoice. Okay. So these are the emails that you will get after sending a PayPal invoice. So this was how you can send PayPal invoices to your clients, companies or your customers. And for the final invoice, you can watch my previous video. And still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.